hi and hello and thank you so much for tuning in and if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Preeti Rao and I am both a real estate and a mortgage broker for close to 20 years well you are now aware of the fact that Bank of Canada has cut its benchmark interest rate for the very first time in four years it took it down from 5% to 4.75 that's nice and a lot of people were expecting that but what does it actually mean for investors and more importantly what does it mean for Canadians in general today I'm going to look at some key takeaways from this announcement but first you know the drill hit that like share subscribe and that bell icon it gets me motivated to keep you up to date with everything real estate So first I want to start with the fact that the rate cut might seem like just a minor adjustment since 25 basis points doesn't seem like much but importantly here it could be a start of a series of cuts and you think back over the last couple of years we've been through quite a stretch of rate hikes that were put in place to manage inflation and so this shift towards the easing could be taken as a breath of fresh air it kind of gives us a little bit of hope as it also suggests that borrowing could get cheaper over time so that would make it easier for people and importantly businesses to manage loans potentially stimulating economic growth this could be the launching point for more lower rates to come point number two to note is that there will be minimal immediate impact so this rate cut by itself is not going to you know materially lower mortgage payments for most parts it's not going to make car loans significantly more inexpensive lines of credits and that type of things but don't be disheartened this is a small step because it's setting the stage for further interest rate cuts down the road point number three is that this is setting an example that canada is now the first g7 country to start lowering interest rates so the banks is essentially leading the pack in making this policy shift it could influence other major economic economies around the world and a number of other countries that might follow suit especially if they are facing similar economic conditions that we are here at home fourth point is the implications for real estate and or economy in general and the obvious benefit of lowering interest rates is that it gives this sluggish real estate market a much needed boost and although prices have been high the sector itself has been underperforming its long-term average for a past couple of years again I don't see an immediate impact or an immediate effect but lower interest rates will make mortgages a little bit more affordable that might just encourage a few more people to get into the market but this is a double-edged sword because we don't want to see this overly strong demand taking house prices up so much further from its current levels on a broader scale this could also help kickstart not just the real estate sector but also boost the overall economic activity through things like increased spending and, and investments because you know Canadian GDP has struggled we've seen minimal growth we've seen increase in business insolvencies we've seen rising unemployment and although we don't want to see inflationary pressures coming back too strongly obviously but we want to have the support system in place for a strong Canadian economy the point number five the governor has made it clear that the Bank of Canada in fact is prepared to make further rate cuts but he emphasized that he will be taking or the banks will be taking a cautious approach he said that they're going to take this one meeting at a time as the potential risks he talked about was geographical turmoil and the possibility of the sharp rebound in house prices here in Canada. The bank does not want to undo the progress that it's made in tackling inflation by moving too quickly. It's in fact a balancing act. You want to stimulate economic growth without letting inflation slip out of control. 
So expect future decisions to be data driven. It's only a 25 basis points change today, but it is a pivotal moment here in Canada's economic landscape. Now, I do want to go into a little bit more detail on what this rate cut might mean for mortgage holders in particular, because that's such a big effect to our lives. First off, at least initially like mentioned that the rate cut ain't going to bring any massive changes they're going to bring only a minimal savings for borrowers the globe and mail article stated that most people are going to save less than a hundred dollars so after this 25 basis point cut the analysts looked at different scenarios involving floating rate mortgages home equity line of credit and other credit lines and it showed a modest impact of this quarter percent point rate reduction. Rebecca Oakes, the Vice President of Advanced Analytics at Equifax Canada, said it is a little bit of a help, but it's not going to have that much of a material effect in terms of the ability to make payments. So if you're hoping to buy your first home, get a foot on that ladder now. So now all of this is great when it comes to the adjustable rate mortgage, right? Which is the variable rate that you and I know about. But what's happening with the fixed? So James Lahr, who is the co-chief executive of RateHub, said that the effect on fixed rate mortgages are going to depend more on the central bank's overall messaging and he says the words are what's going to matter and if the bank of canada seems hesitant about further rate cuts then fixed rate mortgages could stay the same or even rise he noted on the other hand if the bank signals more aggressive rate reduction then fixed rates might fall so as usual, we have to do is just wait and watch. So if you like this video and you have questions, please don't hesitate to call me. If you still don't know who I am, please go check my rating on Google and read my client reviews. Till then, you take care. And if you found value and would like to see more content, please click on the boxes on the screen. Once again, my name is Preeti Rao. My contact information is in the description box below. Make sure to hit like, share, subscribe, and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to call me because I hold the key that opens the door to your dream home.